Good evening from N6TLU here in the shack with a very rare Johnson Viking mobile transmitter. I've got this thing running. I had to build a custom power supply for it. The performance is unbelievable. Let me show you. So here it is, the Johnson Viking mobile transmitter. Seldom seen. This one's in stock condition and fully operational. I did very little maintenance to it, but as you know, these mobiles ran on a dynamotor in your car, which is almost impossible to find. So I built this custom power supply to run the transmitter, and it works great. And I was also lucky enough to get the original manual with the transmitter. And man, does it work good. Let me show you what it does. So first off, I'm gonna remove the lid from the power supply, and I'll show you what I had to do to make a power supply that was compatible with running this mobile transmitter. So as you can see, I built it in an old custom bud enclosure that I was lucky enough to find, and I used mostly vintage components. The power transformer, and this choke is out of a Globe Chief transmitter. I utilized a GZ34 for the high voltage rectification. This transformer here is for the screen circuits and the 300 volts to run the speech amplifiers. Here's an ice cube relay that does all my power switching, plus gives me a switched 120 to this little crystal socket here so you can plug in a TR switch and run your receiver. Backside, you'll see I have an octo connector. This switch over here is for push to talk mode, so when it's up, that's for the microphone, and when it's down, it's for the function switch on the front of the transmitter. Little neon light there, and that cable comes around here and goes to the back of the transmitter. Let's do a quick review of the schematic. Here it is in its entirety. You can see I run two power transformers. This is a high voltage transformer through the rectifier tube, the center tap of that high voltage transformer is switched through the relay to turn on and off the plate voltage. Also, one leg of the 285 volts low voltage is switched, whereas one leg is fed direct, and that's for your tune circuit, all right? To key this relay, I had to come up with 12 volts DC, but I only had the six volt winding available, so I used the voltage doubler and that works great with that old triple pole ice cube relay. This is the octo socket. There's the pin out. All right, so here's the lineup. Obviously, we have the transmitter. I've got a Drake watt meter here in line with the dummy load. Of course, we have the power supply. And monitoring it, we have a National 303 receiver on AM mode, of course, D104 mic. All right, so first, let's take a listen to it through the 303. And here she is. Test one, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one. That's a pair of 807s running push pull, modulating a single 807. I don't know how long it's been since this thing's been fired up, but man, does she sound good. Now let's zoom in on the front panel. I'll show you the watt meter and the modulation meter running. Hello, one, two. Okay. All right, here we are. And if you look over at the Drake, you'll see we're dead keyed at about 25 watts. I'm running 500 volts plate. <clears throat> Here's the old modulation meter. Hello, one, two, one, two. Very responsive. Let's go to plate. And we're idling about 85 mils. Hello, one, two. Here's the grid, about 2.5 mils, which you can adjust with your drive. All right, so here's the bottom side of the power supply. You can see it's all point-to-point -point wired. And let's do a little guided tour over the top of the transmitter. You can see it was a kit, but very well built. I found nothing on this transmitter of concern. It really works well. I'm glad to be the new owner. So currently, I only have it on 40 meters 
and I'm running it on crystal control. I am in search of the mobile VFO to go with the unit and then I would like to get it on the air and get some real reports. But from what I'm seeing, this thing's working great. It'd probably be really nice to run an amplifier with because, as you can hear, it's got beautiful AM. Another great Johnson product, and I'm glad it fell into my hands. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this fine presentation of vintage ham radio equipment from N6TLU. Many more will come. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in.